me again. But I know things are difficult, but if you get a minute, can you just let me know how it's going? Even if it's just a quick text. All right, I'm with you. Want a brew? No, thanks. No offence, but you look like you need some. Sarah, it's time for playgroup. So we, um, not been in touch, huh? Why would he? Got a lot of explaining to do. Yep, you can say that again. Um, oh. Douglas! Oh. Very timely, Pearl. Your strawberry oh. jam, it flies off them shelves. Oh, good. Do you know, if I hadn't got that job at the vets, I'd have gone under. Well, we're all feeling the pinch, aren't we? Hang on. I'll get your receipt. Oh. How's it going up there? Oh, do you know, it's wonderful. All those different animals coming and going. <laughs> and that's just Aaron and Paddy. <laughs> Pearl, um, I hope you don't think I'm being cheeky, but you couldn't lend us a few quid, could you? You'll get it back once payday comes, I promise. Oh, love, what? Well, will ten pounds do? Because I haven't got straight since losing my last job, but... Don't worry about it, it's all right, honest. Yeah. There you go. Oh, and we look forward you. to your next consignment, right. don't we? Yeah. Um, see ya. Open it then. Open oh, it, all right, all right. Morning, morning. Morning. Don't get too excited. I recognise a bishop. I know, I know. Come on. All right. Oh. It's a good job I've not eaten, cos that face is enough to make anyone throw up. Oh, it's a nice one of me, though. We can put that up in the village hall. Or not. The last thing I want is to see his overbearing grin looking down at me. That is not very vicary. Oh, Sally puts up, but then I'll never know. Right, you two, I've been thinking. In fact, I spent most of the night thinking, and I hold both of you responsible. Sounds bad. Nothing's as bad as the atmosphere in this place since you two started working together. Yeah, no, but to be fair... Now, I've come to a decision, and I know I'm not going to be popular. Yeah. I mean, you could always try the factory. They might still be taking on more staff. Well, hang on a minute. What, you think she should fire me? Well, well it's not going to be me, is it? I mean, have you any idea how many years I've worked here? And I am the chef, and you're... Enough! Both of you. Neither of you is going anywhere. Despite your issues with one another, you're both rather good at what you do. So there's only one way to resolve this. I want you to work even more closely together. We've got enough cover in the bar today, so I want you in here helping Marlon. No. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't need any help. I'm perfectly fine on my it's own. It's not up for discussion, I'm afraid. You're going to learn to get along if it kills you both. At least that way we'll get a bit of peace. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Cheers. You can brew up if you've got nothing better to do. I'm busy enough, thanks. Yeah, I'm busy gawping at your phone every two minutes. Oh, that's me. Well, you shouldn't have it on in here anyway, should you? And I want that off. I can't hear myself think. Oi, Narky, is there any need for that? What? Being all snappy just because Romeo's not phoned. Well, like I told you before, he's got a lot of stuff to sort out. Yeah, and maybe he's got up there and he's faced with all his family and he's realised... No, Dad. That... He chose me. Now, you might find that hard to believe, but he did. He's coming back, all right? Hey, where's Doug? Oh, he's in the... Uh... Yeah, would you get him for me, please? Doug! What's that? What is it now? Oh. Oh, you'll be pleased to know this turned up. You can balance your books now. But, uh, where? Well, it was amongst some home farm money ended up in the safe. All's well that ends well, hey? Well, that, my dear husband, was a cracking lunch. You should cook more often. I do. More often you do. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. You don't have to, um, rush back, do you? We've hardly had any time to ourselves lately. Hmm. 
Hold that thought. I'll get rid of them. I just wondered if you passed on my message to Ashley. Yes, yes, come in. Sally! Oh, I was passing and I thought you'd like to see some photos of the cricket match. I see you've already got some. Well, the bishop brought those over, but I'm sure Ashley would like to see yours as well. Well, if you're sure I'm not interrupting anything. No? No, I mean, I've got to get back anyway, so, uh, <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, at least Nathan got to the bottom of the missing money. Putting us through all that worry for nothing. Not enough already, Doug. Yeah, think of your blood pressure. The least he could have done was apologise. Doug, please, will you just, will you just let it go? Hey, up. Here comes the devil incarnate. Pint, please, Diane. Don't say anything. She's not that daft. I only told that story to Doug so I could get things settled. It was my money, but it's not a problem, is it? No, no, no. Just as long as you know that I, I am going to give you back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the only difference is, is that you owe me the money rather than the right, company. Yeah. I mean, it makes things less messy, doesn't it? Don't freak out. I can't even touch you, right? That's it. What are you doing? I'm ringing the police. No. Oh, what? So you're going to let them get away with it? It wasn't her family, OK? So who did it? Michael? Who else hates the idea of us? No. No, not my dad. I don't believe this. Debbie, please. He was only trying to protect No, well, it's him that I need protecting from, not you. No, it's not. <coughs> Where are you going, you part-timer? Fellas got to eat, you know. Rather you than me. Hey? Eh? You're seriously going home? Where Debbie is? In a bad mood? Oh, yeah. Point taken, I'll go the car. What's up with it at the moment, anyway? My guess is it's either women's stuff or problems with that bloke of hers. He's not a bloke. 